Day of the Dead is basically a day where in Mexico we celebrate life and those who have passed away. And you know, it's not really a day to be sad, but you know, more to like celebrate their life and you know, be thankful for what we have. And so we represent um, the dead by making like a little altar for them. And we put like their favorite food on the altar and their favorite drinks. And we also put like pictures. So here we have some of um, Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera. So some of the other items that we have on the altar are um, the skeletons and they're all represented by females. We also have the Day of the Dead flowers, which are very, they're very common with um, four elements. So we represent the wind with um, the paper and the fire with the candles, and then the soil with the Day of the Dead bread and the, the water with um, whatever their favorite drink is. For Dia de los Muertos, um, the offering is for Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera and this painting's by Frida Kahlo, and you can see it in the Museum of Fine Arts, and it's the only one in New England. So Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera also really enjoy chocolate, and uh, they had hot chocolate every night. As Marco said before, we uh, usually want food that the relative really enjoyed, and uh, we have a Dexter Southfield connection with Alex Whitmore, class of 91, who, uh, who owns the Taza Chocolate Factory in Somerville, Mass. Here we have Pan de Muerto. Uh, this comes out once a year, specifically for Dia de los Muertos. And um, we have bread with sesame seeds, and then we also have bread uh, with sugar on top. And we can see here these lines. These actually represent the bones of the dead. This activity is called Ventanas y Espejos, or Windows and Mirrors. Basically, it's a way for us to compare two cultures. In this case, we were comparing El Dia de los Muertos to our own culture. When you're gaining a window into another culture, it's you get to learn something new about that. And when you see a mirror, it's like a reflection of your own culture. So you're re kind of recognizing something similar to your own experience. In this case, students were able to identify what the windows and mirrors they saw in El Dia de los Muertos and talk about their impressions of the holiday.